tonight we're working on another recipe and this is one of my favorites it's meatloaf and what we do is we use the ground venison ground deer meat it's been thawing out since I left for church this morning and we're gonna be putting in some meatloaf seasoning mix I diced up one bell pepper and one Vidalia onion, a can of diced tomatoes, drained, some Progresso beef breadcrumbs, just plain breadcrumbs, and you're going to use, uh, I prefer Sweet Baby Ray's, but barbecue sauce and ketchup. Also, <clears throat> we're putting in a uh, quarter cup of milk and some other ingredients that will go just follow along with me and I'll let you know what we're gonna do all right the first thing you want to do is to saute your peppers and onions and these are gonna be uh, sauteed a little bit just because you don't want to taste the raw bell pepper when you're um, actually putting it into the oven to cook, these won't cook as fast as the meat does. So I go ahead and brown them up a little bit prior to mixing it in with the meat. And you can just mix them both together and go ahead and saute them both at the same time. I'll get all these sauteed up and ready, and then we will. Uh, I'll be back with you. All right. All right, so the next thing you want to do is go ahead and put your ground deer meat in a bowl. You're going to be using two pounds of ground meat, ground venison. So I'll get both of those in the bowl, and then I'll show you what else. All right, these are getting about the right consistency. You want to have them a little see-through, maybe a little opaque. They're getting there. A little soft and looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next thing. Um, next part of this into the meatloaf, you want to put the meatloaf seasoning mix, the Lipton onion soup mix, the breadcrumbs eggs and the milk once I get all that in there I'll show you what it looks like oh also the diced tomatoes but you want to uh, drain all the water out of the diced tomatoes all the juice and just use about a quarter of this can sometimes you can use half but a quarter is usually what works best all right, so let me get all that in there, and I'll be back with you. All right, that's kind of what it looks like with everything added in. There's egg and milk's in there. And what you want to do is stir it up and combine all the ingredients, but you don't want to really stir it hard. You just want to make sure everything gets combined. make sure it's all one consistency I'm, a, I'm filming this with one hand so I'm going to uh, stir all this up and uh, be right back all right that's how it looks all stirred up the next thing you want to do is you want to add in some Worcestershire sauce not much just enough to taste maybe about a teaspoon And you want to add in about the same amount of ketchup. And now I'm going to stir all this up and I'll be right back. As you can see, I added 
some of the diced tomatoes into the mixture and also put about a tablespoon of sugar that's kind of my secret ingredient but you don't have to do that I just like it I've tried it so many times and I love it so now we're gonna mix up uh, toppings topping that goes on the meatloaf before we put it into the pan so we're gonna be using sweet baby rays we're gonna be using some ketchup and possibly this Bordeaux's simply Creole. I might mix a little bit of that in here. So let's give that a try. <clears throat> All right, there's your mixture of ketchup and honey mustard barbecue sauce. Come over here and grab a fork. kind of whisk it all together. That Bordeaux came out a little thinner than the other sauces that I'm used to. I forgot it was like real liquidy. But that's okay. It'll cover up the meatloaf just fine. Once you get it all mixed up, then it's time to move on to the next step. Okay, so here's the meatloaf pan. That I have, it has this attachment to it. I like to put that down in there so that all of the juices and everything can settle to the bottom and it makes for easy removal for the meatloaf. And there's the sauce that's going to go on top, and there's the mixed up meatloaf. And now it's time to get your hands dirty, and we're going to transfer all of this into the pan. Be right back. Now, here you go. Here is the, um, I guess the almost finished product. There's the meatloaf and the big pan, which is my main meatloaf pan. And of course, none of it needs to go to waste. So I just formed a little loaf uh, of what was left over in this glass pan. And uh, about to put this sauce on here. So let me see if I can try to do some of this one-handed. You just kind of want to put it on top of the meatloaf. Now, if you don't have a pan, you can just use a tin foil pan, kind of like you buy from the grocery store, and form it up into a meatloaf looking loaf, I guess. And it'll cook the same. But the, the meatloaf pan itself, like I have here, makes it so much easier. And it makes it so much uh, better when it's over like getting it out and cutting it especially when you start doing those uh, meatloaf sandwiches also one of the things I've learned through the years is not to pile your meatloaf up to the top of the pan give yourself a few about an inch and that'll help help it cook better of course this one's going to cook a little faster because there's not as much in there but um, this one should cook at um, 375 for about one hour so now that I have the topping the top covered with the barbecue sauce and ketchup I'm gonna put it in the oven and uh, we're going to set the timer for one hour. And we'll let it go. After an hour, I'll be back to show you the finished product. Oh, yeah. That looks 
really good. There's the one the smaller meatloaf. I took it out earlier, a little early, a few minutes ago. And then there's the one, the big one. Well, let me get this sliced up and I'll show you what that looks like. All right guys, there it is right out of the oven. And there it is on my plate. Can't wait to get started on this one. So yeah, if you've got some ground venison, uh, deer meat, you could even do it with ground turkey, a wild turkey, but I prefer two pounds of uh, meat has to be used, so I prefer the venison, but you can make deer meat meatloaf, and it is gonna be delicious. We got plenty left over next week for sandwiches or a meal. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment on this. Let us know about your venison recipes, especially meatloaf. And uh, we like to give it a try. So subscribe and comment and like and share and all that good stuff. And we appreciate you watching.